Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush. And today we are going to be doing a Halloween deck for this year. And as you can see, I have a very uh, spooky themed deck. And Unchained Demon, Reaper, Vampire, Skull Queen, Boneyard, Wraith, Resurrection, Necromancer, Spectre, Demon. It's going to be pretty intense. So let's get right into into it here opening a couple of chests first so we've got some things in these chests and I'm excited for this video though because I haven't done a Halloween deck obviously since like a year ago but uh, each time I've done a Halloween deck people have seemed to really like it so I was like I have to do this video again and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, I haven't played with Boneyard in a little while but it's it's a fun card. Boneyard and Skull Queen are always fun cards, but I like this deck because it's a little bit... It was a little bit of a challenge, a little bit meta, a little bit of a challenge, and uh, I was trying to actually use it to gain some trophies back. You'll notice that my trophy count is pretty low, but that's just because the season keeps resetting me, and I haven't had the time to push back up like I should. So... Yeah, we're going to be doing some trophy pushing here, but you'll see me kind of like cut between the trophies. And by the end, we do gain uh, some good trophies, so uh, it's going to be a fun time. So, the way I usually start this deck off, I have... I do the mana rituals. Some people might say they're a little bit lazy, but I just like that fast. Start with a Skull Queen deck, and I'm mostly going to either use this uh, mana ritual... I might use it on the Necromancer here, but usually you'll see me either use it on the Boneyard or the Skull Queen in pretty much all the matches after this. Just because those cards are better for uh, sort of starting. The Necromancer wasn't super ideal for starting out because it doesn't have as much uh, ability to defend itself, but it happened to work out kind of okay here. I was able to use it as a ranged card behind that Spike Statue, but then eventually it gets taken out again. So I decide I am going to just keep up the pressure in that bottom lane. One of the most cards, I mean most challenging, by far the most challenging card in this deck to play was the Unchained Demon. Just because usually you play that in a deck that's really completely focused around the Unchained Demon. Just because of its um, sort of uh, ability uh, that causes it to require cards to cost extra mana and because of that it kind of really makes it difficult to play things so usually you see the unchained demon in decks by itself or not you know either decks by itself or decks certainly decks that are very catered to the unchained demon and this is one that wasn't so for me the unchained demon in this deck was just all about timing and understanding when to use it oftentimes i would either play it if i knew i could get quickly to my opponent's castle like if I had great positioning or I would also play it sometimes as a counter into something if I knew it was going to die anyways because then I wasn't really giving up too much in terms of the mana loss or mana cost loss so this match I was pretty pleased with just because Orcs Horde can be difficult to stop but I guess I just was able to push back pretty quickly here and make sure I could keep the Skull Queen out there since she's so important. That's one of the main things I use the Resurrection on. Usually, either the Skeletons, but also the Skull Queen is a great Resurrection choice. Just because her ability is so powerful and because she's going to spawn back by the castle, so oftentimes that can... Um, allow me to get a bunch of extra damage in. And now we pretty much got this in position, the double Unchained Demon down there, but you can see I got them played close to my opponent's castle. Uh, I did not want to resurrect the Unchained Demon because for it to go all the way across the board with nothing near it would have been sucking up a bunch of mana cost that I didn't want. So, yeah, at this point, pretty much got control of the match. So, what a great victory there. Again, starting off with the Skull Queen. And I knew I needed some help here because 
that Executioner is definitely not a card I could afford to have out there with a Skeleton deck. And then that Reaper just getting right in there. Um, Trying to stop him. That was a good play by them to try and maintain that board positioning. But I decide to go for this Boneyard. And the Boneyard... As always, it does a great job of getting the positioning so I can get close to ranged cards and close to my opponent's castle very quickly. Also, has good it actually has Boneyard has good synergy with the Unchained Demon in that it allows the Unchained Demon to be played, you know, at midfield, uh, which is much, much, much more useful if I'm trying to use it offensively. So Uh, these arrows were really causing me issues, but I decided I was just going to set up for a battle. And I really should not have brought that Unchained Demon back. I realized after I did it, I was like, yeah, that was stupid. Because uh, now I couldn't play anything. Well, not play, couldn't play as much. Luckily, it died pretty quick. So... Yeah, just reestablishing the bottom lane. And then getting my skeletons going. And pretty easy stuff here in the end. So now we've got good control back and I have full board control and they're going for that Black Witch. But it doesn't even matter because I know Skull Queen like great counter right there to that Black Witch uh, in the end. So yeah, pretty much got this. And then... Dropping the Unchained Demon for the final, the final hammer right there. Good win. I was moving up in trophies with this deck, which I wasn't really expecting, but I was low enough down that it's like, yeah, I probably had some, I mean, I was mostly getting opponents who were all lower level than me. So I desperately did need to do some trophy ranking up. So it's probably good I did this where I did because it's not really like a trophy pushing deck. It's just a fun themed deck. So, I figured it would be better to not be playing against, like, super competitive decks with this. Because I'd probably lose. See, again, Boneyard gave me the positioning to get the Vampire on the Valkyrie. Really gotta love Bo Boneyard for that positioning. It works great with cards that need, like, need good position. Has a good synergy with those types of uh, cards. And... My opponent here getting in some nice plays, but I think I've got this. Well, still got some work to do. And now I'm pretty sure I've got it. Just one more lane in the picture. They look like they've kind of given up. I was waiting for that uh, Unchained Demon to be gone. Now I'm pretty confident I have got this win. They do have Valkyrie, but yeah. Finally, got a Rage quit. And that is going to do it. So this match looked tricky to start with. And I wasn't sure if that was the right move to play the Spike Statue, but I decided, well, I have Boneyard, so I'm going to probably do that. And it gave me Boneyard, I think, in a better position, which then paid off because I was able to get down some of those archers from the Archer Tribe. Which gave me, uh, continued to give me good positioning. Probably could have used the Reaper right there, honestly, to get that Angel down. But it didn't end up mattering because the Vampire got through. And now I can really put on full force. They do have anti-skeleton stuff in two lanes. So, bit of a debatable choice there. But I decided to focus on keeping up the Skull Queen since she is usually important to have up as much as possible. And then from there, I could now go for a double Unchained Demon in the top lane. I just put two of them out there just like that at close range to my opponent's castle. And I was like, let's see them stop that one. And you can see them working through my opponent's castle. They had a good push going in that bottom lane, but they never really were able to get the DPS cards uh, positioned. 
And those two Unchained Demons there at the end. Oh, that was sweet. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Halloween video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hadn't posted a video in a little while. So I'm sorry about that. I've been like super busy uh, with stuff. And I'm hoping to get back to the normal sort of thing soon here. But I was prepping a lot of different other games as well. So I can have some content uh, to some other games to kind of mix in. So hopefully we'll get those soon so leave a like if you enjoyed let me know you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content i should create maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel and thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos